Don't get antsy, Al. <laughs> my job. Antsy I said, job. it's just five. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome Hi. to America's biggest virtual cocktail party, Friday night, 5 o'clock. So glad you're all here. And um, I have products for you to talk about tonight that you'll find very convenient for this time of the year, you know? One of the great things about Palm Springs is that we don't have a lot of flying bugs and things like that. It's we like, we don't have any. Well, every once in a while I see. Those are called birds. Oh. Yeah, birds. Oh, they're birds. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> anyway, we've got something that um, is organic that uh, helps with the problem, you know. There's nothing like, well, one of the things that I'm noticing about this, uh, uh, God bless all of us in this pandemic and everybody being on lockdown. And um, I, I think we're, in, we're all adjusting to that. But you know what is just driving me nuts? You can imagine that this dri is driving me nuts. When I see them spraying this disinfected poison everywhere and I think, what is that? What are they spraying? I was, I was watching them spray the Vatican today, the Pieta, and they're spraying down uh, the Mother Mary. It, wait a minute, is the Pieta Mary, not Mary Magdalene, it's, it's uh, the Blessed Mary. It's Mother Mary. Yeah, yeah Mother, Mother Mary. Mary. I, yeah. <laughs> That's what you get from a failed Catholic. No, no. I always did most identify with Mary Magdalene, though. Do you know who Mary Magdalene is, Alan? Yeah, she was a hooker. Was she a hooker? No, yeah. oh, I didn't identify with her because she was a hooker. I was, was raised that she was a sinner. And, uh, and, um, and she begged for forgiveness, and she washed Jesus' feet with her hair. And I was extremely moved uh, last year when we were in Jerusalem, and we were in the Garden of Gethsemane. And that's where it all happened when she did that. I could kind of feel her. Maybe you know, I was her. You know, uh, could I have my cocktail? It's a cocktail I'm party. Sorry. I'm sorry. How yeah. could you? I'm sorry, yeah. Oh, look at all the beautiful things we have here. You know, in days of old? Yeah. It, 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 there were always hookers. The there Vatican, were? Yeah, the Vatican had brothels. Are you sure? Yeah, There's a lot brothels. of Catholics here that it's are going to go, no, what? Don't get mad at me, girls for whatever he's saying. Um, and at one point, priests were allowed to marry. That might not be a bad idea. No, but they, they were allowed to marry. Yeah, I wonder why that changed. You men are hardwired. You know, you know why it changed? Why? Yeah. Oh. 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 So it was financial. It was financial. Oh. Yeah. But, but, but that was a really interesting point that I learned about in a history lesson a long, a, a while back that kind of stuck with me. Interesting. Interesting. Don't be mad at me. I'm not saying it's true. I'm just not saying it's true. No, but I, but I, you know, because of all the work I do in, with hormones, it's so clear that men are hardwired for sex for procreation of the species. Is there another word you could use besides hard? <laughs> Wired. Wires. Way, you know, the, the, the church has evolved since they established it. Okay, it's always yeah. evol it's evolving today. Yeah. But that is complicated if they married, then there would be the issue of uh, property, unless there was some sort of... A deal. A deal. Yeah. A deal made before the marriage. Right. Uh, top of the morning to you, everybody. I love seeing all of you. I feel like I see you. You all look familiar. You all look beautiful. Tell me what you're wearing. Tell me what you're drinking. Tell me what salty things you're eating. And tell me what's on your mind. Wow. Mm-hmm. And you're going to be reading what's on their mind. I will. You look very fetching tonight, Al. Thank you very much. 
really beautiful as usual. As you Have I got him trained well or what? It's true. <laughs> you always look incredible, even when you don't think you do. <laughs> that's that's what I find amazing. <laughs> I have my moments, but I also have my other moments. Okay, so yeah, Linda Collins says, I got my first order today. I couldn't wait to wash my hair and face. Love the shampoo and cleanser and moisturizer. Isn't it great? I'm uh, so glad you got you. it. You definitely didn't disappoint. Oh, I'm so okay. glad. I'm so glad. All right. So Mary Struppa says, I can hear Suzanne great now, but... Now we, we can't hear Al. <laughs> so I wonder if because I have a mic on now yeah, you know that I, I suck the volume. No, no, no. Well, you're, you're like four feet away from me. Yeah. So I'm using your mic. Oh. I'm going to try and find something. Where's your I mic? Need. Well, I don't have a mic. Where's the mic that you normally are heard on? It's, it's, it's on the phone, but yeah. now the phone mic, the outer mic is being overridden by right. the mic that's so I may be able to find a, uh, a thing. That mic number that two. Two mics. Yeah, yeah, I think that we have to do we that. We know two mics. We Mike do. Mike Collins and Mike Rondo. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We do. Hey, if you're watching Mike Collins or Mike Rondo. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, maybe I take my mic off and I put it in the middle of us. Um, like, put it like right here. Well. Uh, no, we can, we can hear Alan. It's okay. Should we try that, really? though? Want to try it? Yeah. It's more important. Not really. Alan's the funny one. No, but, one <laughs> no, but we can, well, I swear we can hear him. You know, everyone has different issues, and I find sometimes if you guys are having a hard time, if you just get off of the show and come back on, sometimes you can hear better. We've had a few, a few people say that. So. Listen to Your Caroline. the best sound's been in a long time. Okay. Well, yeah. And I can yeah. project. Yeah. You're a radio guy. Yeah. Tell him about when you were on the radio. He was Mr. He was not only Mr. Johnny Carson of Canada, late night talk show, late ap late afternoon talk show. Uh, well, afternoon talk show, late night. It was the predecessor to Saturday, Saturday Night, night Live. Live. Yeah. Can you imagine a worse place for a bad boy like Al? We were all bad boys. Nobody's as bad a boy as you are. <laughs> You're the baddest of the bad boys. And um, But he also, before that, was on the radio. Yeah. And... Um, his mother, um, who came from Poland, was very uh, cultured. She was, she was, it wasn't, she was educated. Um, and um, she wanted Alan to be a classical musician. And she sent him to classical music school, sort of like the Juilliard of Canada. And, um, but Al didn't want to play that. He wanted to play Boogie Woogie. <laughs> That's right. And his mother got mad at him. So yeah. you can imagine those fights. <laughs> but anyway, he was in, in that school, that classical school, long enough to be able to uh, pronounce those names like Dvorak. Yeah. And what are, what are the other ones? Well, Dvorak was the tough one. Yeah. When I auditioned for the job as uh, a classical music DJ, yeah. uh, the one trick word in there was Dvorak because there's no j sound. It's Z-V-O-R-A-K. No. Oh. So you have to really know how that word is pronounced oh. in order to get it right. Right. And thankfully, my mother sent me to the Royal Conservatory of Music, which uh -huh. I hated. Did you hate it? I had to dress up in my little job purse. Like little Lord year. Fauntleroy? I walked across a big stage and played the piano by myself. Oh, I bet you were so cute. Oh, I hated it. Oh, really? But I did. I graduated with honors. I bet you did. Yeah. Well, we have that uh, thing here. What thing? The, the honors thing from the Royal Conservatory. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. That's when it was. Uh, you were a little boy then. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was like when you were in high school or college or no. something. No. Huh. No, I was. Uh, I've only been with you 50 years, so it takes right. me a while to learn all yeah, this I stuff understand. about you. Okay. Well, it's yeah. something new. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to play the piano, uh, so my mother gave me piano lessons, but with the nun up at St. Robert's School. Who's the worst person to teach you how to play the piano other than a nun? And it was all scales, and she never let me play a melody, and 
I too wanted to play my version of Boogie Woogie. So it wasn't meant to be that I was going to be a piano player. But I was listening today to, I don't know how it happened. I was, you know how you just sort of fool around with your iPhone and all of a sudden up came this thing of me um, singing with Glenn Zatola, Guess Who I Saw Today, My Dear. It was one of my favorite, favorite songs. And I don't, I couldn't, I, I looked at a piece of it and then I came in to show you. I lost it and I can't find it again. But anyway, I do that song in my show and I had the privilege of um, having Steve Lawrence, you know, Steve and Edie, at my last show at my residency at the Westgate Hotel in Las Vegas a couple of years ago. And um, he was in the audience. And I, I said, I'm going to tell you, uh, from the stage, I said to Steve Lawrence in the audience, I said, there's something you, you, you don't know. When I was 12 years old, I was watching the Ed Sullivan Show. Any of you remember the Ed Sullivan Show? I was on the Ed Sullivan Show. No. Yeah. That I didn't know. I was on. That's two. Two. Two, two tonight. Things. Two tonight. 50 years later. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I, I wasn't performing. Mm-hmm. But they did the show. He did one show from Toronto when I was living in Toronto. And Wayne and Schuster, the comedy team, lived in Toronto. They were all, uh, always on his show. And I was the announcer. Oh, so, so what did you say, credit. ladies and gentlemen? That's right. How then, announce the uh, Ed Sullivan well, I show. I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> you have the most incredible voice. So anyway, I said to Steve Lawrence in the audience, it's always fun to have a celebrity in the audience, and I like to just talk right to them. And um, I said, when I was 12 years old, we were watching the Ed Sullivan show, and um, we had a TV. And when I was 12 years old, to have a TV was quite something. Uh, most people didn't have any TVs, and they certainly didn't have TVs in every room like we have today. We had one TV in the living room. Uh, there were no clickers at the time, so my dad controlled the channel. And you actually had to get up and walk. You had to walk the across the room, yeah. And, change the channel. and we and watched there were only three channels. And three. Right? Well, I don't even remember that. And we watched what my dad wanted to watch because that's the way things were. He was, you know, Ar Archie Bunker. And um, he really was Archie. <laughs> he really was the Archie Bunker. And I now I'm still talking to Steve. And I said, and Edie walks out, and she sings this song. And it's the first time I ever thought of lyrics as poetry, and that lyrics tell a story. And even though I was only 12 years old, I got so caught up in the words of this song that I got very emotional, and I knew what the last three words were going to be, and I'm, I said them out loud, and my family looked at me like, how do you know that? The, uh, the song, if you don't know the song, Guess Who I Saw Today, My Dear, it's a beautiful song. And you can pull it up on YouTube. I do sing it with a, a couple of different people. Um, it's about this woman who's married, who goes out to go shopping and uh, around lunchtime she gets hungry and wonders where she's going to go for lunch and remembers there's that new little French cafe and bar over there and maybe I'll go there. So she goes to the French cafe and bar and it's dark and the maitre d' brings her in and he sits her in a booth in the back of the room and once her eyes, oh I'm going to start crying, once her eyes adjust to the, to the darkness, she's sees, this makes me cry, she sees at the bar two people who are so in love, she says, even I could spot it clear across the room. That night when her husband comes home, she says, guess who I saw today, my dear? I saw you. <laughs> and get your rear end out of here. <laughs> By the way, but it was so moving to me as yeah, a twelve-year-old girl because so I, yeah, that I, it was a story, and and so it. When I have the privilege of singing in my career um, now, especially as I'm older, I always look for songs that tell a story because, uh, as a singer, if you can tell a story, you can get so wrapped up in it. It's not that you forget about the audience. You become enmeshed in the, in the, the song and the, the melody uh, with the audience, and it becomes a very shared ex and personal experience. By the way, yeah, we have Bonsoir from northern Quebec, Canada. Oh. From Patrick, I think it's Fluet or Fluet, I uh -huh. don't know which. And <laughs> he also 
put up a video of Chrissy dancing nonstop, <laughs> okay, on Three's Company, <laughs> and uh, it's uh, bouncing boobs time. <laughs> okay, <yeah. laughs> I remember. Um, uh, the first time they, they put in a, a, a directive in the script and Chrissy jumps for joy. So I jumped for joy. And, you know, boobs were real back then. And uh, I had a soft <laughs> bra on. My boobs went from side to side. And I didn't quite realize it was happening. But, oh, my gosh, the producers loved it, loved it, loved it. So pretty much every two to three weeks they'd put in the directive. And Chrissy jumps for joy. So that's probably what our Canadian friend has on a loop, dancing nonstop. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have a request. Yes. From Maureen McGraw. Uh-huh. And she wants you to sing, Guess Who I Saw Today. Oh. 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 Uh, I want, I, you know, um, I want you to set up that sound for me so that I can just put a little piano in the background. I swear to God I will. I will. In the meantime, go to YouTube and look up Guess Who I Saw Today, My Dear, Suzanne Summers, and there's a couple of versions of it. But um, I don't want to screw it up here because I happen to sing it quite well. And um, I need, I just, I need some melody with me. Are you coming over here? I want you to see how well, saying, cute Al is. They're saying that they can't hear me. Oh. So here I am. I, I, I can't believe people can't hear you. Yeah. Wait, I, Alan, most people are saying they can hear you. Yeah, so it's just a couple. There you go. You're only disappointing a couple of people. I know, but they're important. Yeah, they are. Everybody's yeah. important. Yeah. We're all important. Yeah, are you having a cocktail out? Oh, you oh, yeah. are. Oh, why don't you bring it over here? But then you can't read the questions That's unless, right. unless Kara. Yeah, Yeah, why don't you do that? Okay, well, as you can imagine, when I saw them spraying the Vatican today with some kind of poison, if it's strong enough to kill the coronavirus, what could that be? What could that be? Any of you have any idea? I mean, it's got to be some major terrible thing. And I, you know, I've written... You know, my book, Toxic, from all the toxins and um, all the books I've written about chemicals and how we're under the greatest environmental assault in the history of humanity. So I said to Caroline, you know, we were back east last summer and there were just a lot of flying bugs and things. And my friends were all spraying uh, chemical bug spray on them. And so we came up with a, a outdoor body spray. Now, legally, I can't say that this kills the bugs, but I'll tell you, have you ever, ever been in an elevator with somebody and you hate their perfume? Hate it? Well, this is what the bugs hate the smell of this. They just hate it. It doesn't kill them. They just go away because, ugh, smells so terrible. So um, this, this will be your friend, and, you, and it cannot harm you, and I think that's the most important thing right now. And it smells good to us. Yeah, just bugs hate it. Yeah, they go, pleh, pleh. Yeah. Okay. So, so bugs hate the way this stinks. They just think it stinks. There you go. Okay, you showing it to them, Al? Yeah. Okay. And for our friend in northern Quebec, we, uh, just for you, it's in French. Is it? Uh, it is. Oh, well, we always, we always oh yeah. Uh, spray it's, it's pour le cour. Yeah, it's deep free and it is organic. Yeah. It's safe for the adults and pets. And um, I wish I could show you, but the it's not set up today. I did Al's toes. Yeah. He wanted tinsel on on his toes, and then I said. Oh, here's the little baby hummingbird. Oh, we watched this bird be born from up here. Hi, baby. Wow, look at that. Wow, he's right here. It's like he knows us. That is sweet. Well, I've got a bouquet of flowers here, and he's like thinking, oh, this is better than a little blossom over there. 
Well, anyway, so after I did one of his sets of toes, I love that, um, with tinsel, then on the other five toes, I put cornflower blue. Which do you like better, Al? You know, tinsel's always been my favorite. Uh huh. But I'm really liking the blue. It's I'm very like, rich. It's yeah. It's really interesting. Blue. I'm liking the blue on you, too. Yeah. I think this week, I w can you turn the camera to him? Uh, let me try. Whoop. No, he's going to go goes. away. Yeah. He must have heard us. Yeah, is he going up to his nest? He's circling his nest. Oh. This is where he was born in this chandelier up here. So we feel attached to this little hummingbird because we watch the whole thing. So Cheryl, the mom and the two. Yeah. Cheryl Lawan says, wish you and Al would have your own supper club out there so your fans have a vacation destination to come and see you sing and meet both of you. We've been talking about that. We wanted to take over the uh, Plaza Theater here in downtown Palm Springs. Um, just all you have to do to a city council is tell them what you want to do and have the whole town go, what a great idea. <laughs> wow, that's so great. And the people who have businesses around it come, oh, we would love that. And we'd love to put some money into it with you. And everybody's so excited. It's, it's just dead in the water. The moment you've got a committee. No, you know what it is? No. It's going to take a lot of money. Yeah. Like a lot of money. Yeah. Because this theater was built in 1936. Yeah. The year of my birth. Wow. And, yeah. And uh, as a matter of fact, I think it was the same month as my birth. And well, Sinatra played there. That's right. Marlena Dietrich played there. No, they didn't Red Sammy. Skeleton right. played there. Yeah. Bob Hope played there. Dinah Shore played there. I so wanted to take this theater and revive it and bring no, it back. You know what, it is? what? They needed between twelve and fifteen million. There's there's a bunch of billionaires down here. Well, I know, but so far no one stepped up to the plate. I I don't think it's that. I think it's I think it's a committee. No, I don't think so. You don't think it's a committee? I think, believe me, if we walked in with $12 million, uh, the committee would... Okay, uh, so so uh, we're taking uh, bids here. You can... Uh, 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 one million at a time is enough. We just need 12, 12 or, of or, you. Or, or someone with one check for 15 One million. of you can have tw 12, bring 12 million or and the, and 12 the theater, people with a million. The theater is a 501c3, which is a tax-free foundation. There you go. So if you're making a whole lot of money, yeah. it's a write-off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What a great thing to suggest so waiting, in the middle waiting, of the worst economic downfall in the history of our country. I'm going to watch all the comments here from someone <laughs> saying, I'm there. Huh. Wouldn't it, I knew if we could pull it off, with you know getting it revamped and uh, Roger Ball who uh, has been with us for 30 years and he did a whole design state-of-the-art sound and lights but keeping the the flavor of the original theater so that you could feel that Sinatra was on this stage and it's a it's a one of those perfect stages at this stage of my um, uh, nightclub performing I've had the big shows, and you can go on YouTube and find those too, where I've got, you know, doing New Attitude, uh, and with, uh, what, 10 dancers, 16-piece orchestra, 12 costume changes. I did all those shows for years, and I loved it. Oh, my God, I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. This, this phase of my life, the show I do now, oh, my God, I love it. I don't walk out on stage with a drink like Sinatra, but, because uh, that's his thing, but... It's sort of, um, I like to lie on the piano. I like to talk to you the way I talk to Steve Lawrence. Um, uh, uh, hey, Suzanne. Yeah. Somehow, somehow, but I don't know how. Yeah. But we were talking about toes. Oh, we got off. Polish, and you were about to get to the next two products. <laughs> Okay, but they can't. You can't things. say all of you out there that all I try to do is sell you product. I forget to sell you product. Thank God for Caroline. I I'd never sell you product, but I'm proud of our product. Heal restore. So this is why I brought up Alan's toes because we walk around barefoot a lot here, uh, so, except right now. It's well, today. It's not a hundred. Today's maybe a hundred. It's not 106 like it's been. Ugh, that's god awful. He likes it. He's like a. I love it. His his uh, ancestors are from the desert, 
What were you? What were? What kind of desert rats were you? Desert rats. Desert rats. Yeah. Um, anyway, his heels get all racked up, and so here, give them to me. So you you take this and heel. It smells good too. Right? Heel restore. Let me tell you what's in the heel restore, because man, does that work? You got those crusty heels, and you're wearing sandals. You do not want to have crusty heels. Um, well, it doesn't say what's in it. It just says it really works. So there you go. Okay. Oh, what's in the um, in the outdoor body spray? Oh, this is what this is what the bugs can't stand the smell of. Peppermint, lavender, rosemary smells good to us. Amazonian and aroba seed oil. Do you have any of that in your medicine cabinet? You don't, do you? You don't. Right. And the the bugs hate it. It's certified toxic free. The bugs hate it. Okay. And your heel restore, it's just going to make your heels go from flaky and crusty and and there's honestly I noticed this. I don't know about you, but when we're out cuz in the desert at this time of the year everybody wears sandals to dinner and when I see crusty heels I I it gives me a feeling about that person. So you know you should send them heel renew anonymously. Yeah, I should I, you know what I should I bring about 6 of these cuz it's usually about 6 people I see going Bleh. and keep it in my purse and just go over and say maybe you might want to try this. Yeah, that would go over really big, it wouldn't would. it? Yeah, yeah. That that would make them really like me. But I'd be trying to help. Okay. All right, do your feet sweat and stink? It happens. Do they just let's leave the stink part out. Do they sweat? How if you had a refreshing foot mist spray? This, spray it in your stinky shoes, spray it on your feet when your feet are hot, spray it on your feet when your feet are hot and stinky, or one of those configurations. This you will keep in your purse and you will say things like, God bless you, Suzanne. You will. And who can't use a little blessing from God? So you know, here. I like a little of that. You want some right now? Yeah, do you want me, let me explain okay. you know, what our deal okay. is today. Okay, all okay? right. It, it, this is our summer deal. It includes outdoor body spray, heel restore, refreshing foot mist, bronzing powder. The retail value is $125. Today it's $69.99. That's 44% off. Wow. And it's all at SuzanneSummers.com. Wow. Wow. Okay. So. Okay. If you're out and you've got little bugs and things flying around. The bugs hate the way this smells. It's like perfume in an elevator. Like, or remember, those of you who are my age, remember Old Spice? Remember? Was that the stinky? That's every every kid who starts shaving uses Old Spice. Okay, but what was the what was the uh, cologne everybody wore back then? There was only like one or two colognes for men. With was it Old Spice? Hazel? No, no, no. Old Spice and what was the other one? Old Spice and, oh, the one that I hated. Yeah. English leather. Yeah, English, oh, oh yeah, that was, was like awful. the expensive stuff. That was awful. So I uh, remember getting into um, elevators and when somebody's got a bad perfume on. That's how bugs feel about this bug spray. They hate it. And then they go away, and that's all you really want, right? Okay. And then you'll smell good. What okay. would you like? Do you want the tinsel foot or do you want the blue Oh, foot? I want the blue cornflower. Okay. Put your cornflower foot up here. Okay. Oh, I wish I could show you my foot. I have cornflower blue on too. Oh. 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 Well, first let's do this, Al. Okay. Does that Ooh. feel good? Ooh. Woo. You've got wow. such pretty feet. Mmm. I'm not going to suck his toes. I swear I'm not going to suck his toes. You would like that, wouldn't you? Wow. <laughs> we could put a little tequila on that toe. <laughs> uh, you have such nice feet. Now rest your foot on my knee here. Okay. And then let me take off uh, a Suzanne Summers ring. Right. And I'm going to put the heel restore. Look at that's like, it's thick. It's. Yeah. Can you just speak into Suzanne's chest and say hi to Barbara Willoughby? Because she can't hear you and she's frustrated and I want you to say a special hello to Barbara. Okay, come into my chest, Al. Okay. Hello. 
Blue Fox to Red Leader. <laughs> no, it's Barbara. Oh, it's Barbara. What was your last name? What's your last name, Caroline? Willoughby. 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 Oh, Barbara. Barbara Willoughby? We used to date. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was before you. Barbara, you've got to be like 90 now, right? Because you were my older woman. Barbara and But me. not much. No. Not, mu <laughs> not much older. <laughs> no, not much. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me just finish your heel and then you can go back okay. to the mic. Okay. Okay, Barbara, he's going to be off mic for a minute because we got to finish. Look at these gorgeous feet. I mean, really, but you do not have 83-year-old feet. Usually 83-year-old feet are crusty and... Well, I mean, I, it's kind of, they're right here, and they're nice. I, I, I bought some younger feet. I thought I needed <laughs> yeah. now, now Barbara's saying all men like their toes, licked, soft, <laughs> Barbara. <laughs> yeah, Barbara, if you want to see me lick Al's toes, you got to come to Big Al's <laughs> bar in person, in person. Okay, that's all I need to do. Feel the, feel the, feel this heel. Oh. You're liking it, aren't you? I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can keep rubbing. Yeah. Do you want me to do the other heel? Sure. This is your tinsel. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Let's do this. Here, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. This really does. Like, my heels get in such bad shape, and I put this on, and I'm like, I'm an idiot. This is in my cap bag. I know. Just use this. Your feet will be sandal ready. And I've seen your feet like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I think, yeah. we got heel stuff. <laughs> okay. I really enjoy softening up your heels. Yeah. And so I'm going to sleep with you tonight. Did you know that? Really? Yeah. And and when your feet rub against me, it will be a much more pleasant experience. You better tell Willoughby. <laughs> Barbara, is that okay if I sleep with him tonight? Barbara just said, OMG, thank you. No, I've never dated you. I'm 54 and blonde, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're his type. <laughs> Okay, go back to the okay. go back to Barbara. Okay. okay, all right. So you see how much fun it is, and um, you know, it's the little things in life. It is that um, make a difference. So having heels that are not crusty and funky looking and that don't stink, that's stink. That's, that's a good thing. You want to stink. So. We had today such a lunch, huh, Al? Yeah. And th it's thanks to Caroline because for Mother's Day, if you watched the show yesterday, you know the lunch that I made yesterday with the, uh, that amazing burrata that Caroline sent. Oh, my God. And I have the tomatoes from my garden. And we just picked another whole basket of them today. Oh, what a shame that you cannot come down here, Caroline. I... I, my, my garden is just gushing with, there's so much kale and butter lettuce and romaine lettuce and curly kale and, and tomatoes and artichokes. Oh my gosh, it's just so incredible. What? I gotta try something. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Okay. Are you playing with my boobs? No. Oh, okay. I, I will if you oh, want. Oh, you could put it on, oh, you could put it on the uh, green sequin thingy. I can put it right here. Oh, okay. So it's still right in front of okay. you. Okay. Okay. Oh. Like right yes, there. Yes, I think that would get both of us. Okay, right. Or maybe, you know, it put that thing there, here, and then it's thinner. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, I don't. Okay. The one thing you can say about me is that I'm not a nag. You're not? I'm okay. not. So can you still hear Suzanne? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, now, ask Barbara. Okay, now. Can we hear Al with the mic in a different place? Okay, is this better? Is is it? Can you hear Al? Girls, you gotta let me know. And guys. I can hear you guys as well, but I just, certain people, their equipment varies. So like, I don't have a problem hearing either of you, but I just before you show. I okay. just noticed a lot of people okay, saying you. they couldn't hear. Yeah. So. We want you to be happy out there. If you're not happy, you won't come to our cocktail That's party, right. and we. Yeah. We want you to come to our cocktail party, so we're trying to make sure that we accommodate all of you and and uh, satisfy all your needs. So anyway, Debbie, Debbie says she can hear. Okay, so any. Wilma says she can hear. Okay, Wilma. Hi, Wilma. Okay. Uh,
There it is. Have a nice summer. So back to our lunch. It was such a lunch, we won't be having dinner. Um, so Caroline, this Mother's Day present she gave me, she, uh, the burrata, and then with my incredible tomatoes from the garden, and then the pomegranate balsamic that we sell that is, is killer. It's just so, so unbelievable. And then the uh, basil olive oil. But you could use any of the olive oils and any of the balsamics. They're all amazing. Amazing. Uh, amazing. Uh, Alan licked his plate again. Yep. Honest, not, I'm not like, it's, I mean, he licked his plate. He put it down. He goes, now you don't have to wash it. There was not one drop of <laughs> anything on it. And it's whenever I use that balsamic of any flavor, he ends up licking the whole plate. Also, when I do a great, um, any kind of sauce that is made from the bits on the bottom of the pan, like um, if I do a roast chicken and all those bits that are on the bottom, that's, that's, where, that's, that's what cooking is. It's what's on the bottom of the pan. And I, I remember, yeah, you're, you're great at that, Caroline. I remember my friend Susie would throw that out. I'd go, what are you throwing that out for? But she was a great cook, but she didn't, the, I, I, I always said to her, you're throwing out the balls of the food. So anyway, um, he licked the plate, and then I did the rest of the annulati that Caroline and Bruce gave me for Mother's Day with the brown butter and fresh sage leaves, and uh, it was really good. Served with little baby, baby lamb chops that I did on the grill pan, real thin, like pick them up and eat them like bacon almost with um, uh, dip in, in pesto. It was kind of a spectacular lunch, wouldn't you say, Alan? And thank you, yeah. Caroline, yeah. for all that. Great. So it's all gone. It's all gone now, though, Caroline. Well, I'll have to, I'll have to redo that. Yeah. Um, so I have two things to tell you. Yeah. Um, next week, we are launching the Ghostflower Activewear. Okay. Um, Those are the you greatest know, yoga pants ever, 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 ever. They really are great. Yeah, you I can like put that the, right there. This new pair the best. And you have a friend on here who really wants to know. Um, Roseanne Tassiter wants to know about the bronzing powder. That's in the oh, no, she doesn't. You're lying, aren't you? Why are you Why are you moving that around, Alan? I can't hear her at all now. I don't know, Caroline. Yes. Yeah, you've just totally screwed. What happened? Screwed, you just, just, oh, you know just, what I did? What'd you do? You know, I'm not very good with this technical stuff. I'm good at a lot of stuff. Yeah, okay. just like don't touch stuff. No, I am. <laughs> just don't touch it. You know, no. Diane, Diane Brothers is asking about the bronzing powder. I'm it's, not making this stuff up. Yeah, you are. You're lying. But I, it's I'm going to show you. I'm gonna, I'll bet you. I'll bet you another pound of annulati. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm oh. looking at the comments right here. Oh, well, what do I'm I do? I'm supposed to hear about bronzing powder. Okay, now that you're not lying, what do I have to do for you? Okay, here, <laughs> do you like um, the color that I am tonight? I'm a little tan, aren't I? Right? You know why? Bronzing powder. And I foolishly did not bring a, um, a powder puff or a, or a brush. But you just take a brush and go, shoo, 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 shoo. I put it on my hands and my arms so that everything matches. And this is the color, and this is the color on me. And I think I look quite fetching tonight. Fetching. <laughs> fetching. fetching. I'm, fe I'm fetching yeah. tonight. Right. Yeah, so, so I, I now, a... wait, I want to ask something, Caroline. Do you buy just one of these things or do you buy all of it? It's a kit. You get all four products. It's a kit. It's a kit. So yeah. the kit is no code. the kit is the Bugs Hate Me spray, right? My heels are, heels are, my feet are crusty, uh, uh, rescue renew. cream. Heel restore. Okay. My feet stink and are sweaty spray. Refreshing and, foot mist. Yes, and then bronzing powder <laughs> to make you look fetching. Okay. I'd say this is the deal of deals, and um, I think if you live anywhere where there are little flying bugs that they go, pss, pss, <laughs> all that, if you're doing that, Put on this spray that they hate the smell of that you will love. Remember, it's peppermint, rosemary, lavender. And what's that other thing? Andalusian something. Uh, I love our formulator. She comes up with this stuff. 
uh, Amazonian uh, Andoroba seed oil. You don't have that, do you? <laughs> you don't have that. So I have a, a, a note here from Inga Kant. Inga. Now I knew an Inga of course in you high did. school. Who haven't you known? Okay, and the Inga I knew was, I think she was Norwegian, and she towered above me. Oh, okay. did you like that? Because then yeah, her boobs, six, then I, her boobs are right in your face, right? I, I didn't say that. I, I was but six I know feet you. Tall, I know you. And she towered above me. Uh huh. And I uh, did, somehow I, I knew you loved me. I did date her once. Uh huh. And uh, when that moment arrived. What moment, Al? That moment. That poets write when about on a date. That yeah. poets write about, yeah. Inga said, "I can't." Oh, because and her name is Inga Can't. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Inga. That's funny, Inga can't. And she's from Toronto. And, and didn't we have? Oh, that she's from Toronto. Oh, maybe it's the Inga. Maybe right. she changed her name when she was single. Maybe can't is her married name. Mm -hmm. Because is she? Inga, did you date Alan? And are you tall? And were your boobs in his face? <laughs> and we had on step by step Inga in the kitchen. Remember Inga? Yeah. She was great. Yeah. She was great. I miss all my kids. I bet all my step-by-step -step kids are, wow. They, they, are the girls going into menopause? Stacy and, and, and Christine Lakin and, and Angela? Oh. Could they, they could be in perimenopause now. Wow. And I was right. Well, when I was 30 when they were, because I was having Camellia, so I was 30 when they were 12 to 15. So they're, they're so, 40. Yeah, they're there. They could be in perimenopause. And what is odd is I was upstairs writing my first hormone book at that time. Huh. I loved working with Patrick Duffy. Both Alan and I just love Patrick Duffy. He lives in o Oregon most of the time on the Rogue River. And um, he's a very, um, like he could have been a great farmer. And I'd say to th him on Monday mornings, like, what'd you do this weekend? Well, I rerouted all my gray water. I didn't even know what gray water was, but he does things like that. But he now, his um, wife, Carlin, who was 15 years older than he was, and he was madly in love with her. She was a prima ballerina. But you know what's interesting about um, uh, ballerinas, ballet dancers like Barishnikov? Um, their, bodies, their bodies take such a beating because in ballet, you put your body into such unnatural poses and, and ask so much of your body that you get a lot of injuries. Like Barishnikov, um, I don't know if he's um, all crippled up, but he's got a lot of issues, a lot of issues. And I know that Patrick's wife had so many issues, knee problems, back problems, knee surgeries, hip surgeries. Anyway, she died probably five years ago. So what, he has these two sons that he adores and he opened a bar in Bur somewhere in Burbank. Is that a good thing for Patrick Duffy to open a bar? <laughs> I think it's perfect. it's perfect. I'm happy for him to be happy and to be working with those two great guys. There's, his sons are wonderful. I think the wonderful. bar is in a the theater, which he, he owns. Oh, is that where the bar is? Yeah. Oh, okay, oh, great, yeah. great, great. So um, that's sort of catching you up on that show. So but I you, hadn't thought about my, my daughters, how old they'd be now. So uh, your lips are out of sync. Your lips are People out of sync with your voice. People just have to go out and come back in. There's always someone with a tech issue out, but don't worry about it. It's okay. not most people. Okay. Are my lips... It's actually, it's a trick. Oh. It's a trick that Suzanne does. Okay? Yeah. I just checked that she's I mean, on. So okay. She can she's move her sync. lips and nothing comes out. Yeah. And, yeah. she, and she can have stuff coming out without moving her lips, right? It's true. Like when you want to sort of comment on something, yeah, you don't have to move your lips. All you have to do is is make this sound. Hmm. So you're sort of being dumb, Al, right now. Hmm. <laughs> That's dumb, Al. It, yeah. What happens is that when the Wi-Fi goes out, then sometimes it'll be a little out of sync. So if that's the case, just Oh. Leave the show and come back. So if well, people happens, are watching and she's yeah. out of sync, just leave the show and come right back and it'll leave pop back into sync. and come back and I'll be back in sync again. That happens to our TV sometimes. I'll, I'll say to Alan, 
The limp lips are out of sync, and he turns the TV off and reboots. Yep, so, same so, thing. Yeah. You know, in the old days, I never had to reboot a TV. Because there was no Wi-Fi. There was oh, no okay. Internet. There was well, no... But no, but you in, know In uh, the, the 1800s, you when you were watching <laughs> TV... <laughs> you turn on the TV, and bingo, there it was, right? There it was. Now you turn on the TV... Yeah. And you have to wait yeah. and wait and wait yeah. and wait. It's so terrible. It's awful. You have a terrible life, Al. How do you how do you how do you know. get through each day? I don't know. <laughs> you remember we walked into my parents' house one day and they were both watching T V and I had bought them the T V <laughs> in the fifties. His parents, was, by the way, it, were old. Yeah, uh, wonderful, just, but old. The old. TV was like really old. Yeah. You couldn't tell the gender of the people on the screen. No. But it didn't It was matter. all snow. Yeah. They watched their TV was like all snow. And he and he said to his mother, "Why don't you get a TV repairman to come up here and fix the TV?" And she said, "I have a son in television. I have to call a repairman." <laughs> she figured he would know everything about uh, TV sets. And uh, I sh I could have told her, yeah. "No." He will not be fixing your TV, but. Well, Suzanne Rudd said, you could read the obituaries and make me laugh. She was just having a blast. <laughs> she just has a blast. Whatever you say, she's just having a blast. I appreciate that. I enjoy you. I enjoy all of you. I can feel you enjoying this whole hour we spend together. You know that. And I will. Cheryl, Cheryl said, Suzanne is a multi-talented star who's a legend in her own time. We should feel fortunate to have live conversations hmm. with the grooviest couple on the planet. Oh, isn't that great? Well, I I um, I love one of the the my biggest success in life is um, uh, my marriage. I was actually it isn't. It's one of my biggest successes. No, no, it's your biggest success. No, I want to say that the fact that Bruce Summers, Caroline's husband, my son, is not screwed up is such a miracle. I was pregnant at 18, gave to him, uh, birth to him one month after my 19th birthday. I had no idea what I was doing. And the fact that he's not an alcoholic, he's not a drug addict, he's a college graduate, that that um, he's a productive member of society, a great husband, great father. That's that, I, I could have done such a bad job and he he's, was instrumental in uh, him raising himself because I would ask him, I don't know, what do you think, Bruce? And he would give me the answer. But I'm very proud of how Bruce turned out and I'm very proud of having this marriage that I thank God for every day of my life, Alan, every day. Well, and you should. <laughs> yeah. So I got and he's so here. humble. I got a note here from Anna Blair. Uh -huh. Suzanne, I met you early 80s in Indianapolis. You uh -huh. and Joe Namath were doing a commercial oh, right. at the atrium for elders. The first one built with an exercise room. Okay. I remember that. I was watching Joe Namath do a commercial the other day and I thought, I worked with him on something, Is so it? that's what it was. He was a nice guy. I remember him being was. nice. You yeah. know, the people in our business are nice. I haven't, I haven't met many in our business who aren't nice. By the way, I love Indianapolis. You do? Oh, because you were... I go there every yeah. year at the end of May for the, uh, the uh, 500. I would arrive a week in advance, and I'd go from, uh, what do they call those? They're garages, but they don't call them that. I'd, I'd go from... Stalls? The, pardon? Stalls? 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 Stalls, no, no. Anyway, they have these... They're Pull your car in any placey yeah, kind of thingies? Yeah, the they, they keep the door closed because uh -huh. they're doing secret stuff. Uh -huh. They don't want anyone to see. Oh, okay, oh. But they let me see. Oh. Because I wasn't a oh. competitor. Is that that race that's going to go on without an audience this week? NAS, NASCAR? I think that's NASCAR. Oh. Yeah, this is the in, Indianapolis 500. Hmm. But it was, it's, it was a great race. And the most, uh, it was, there were like 350,000 people there. And uh, Tony Holman was the son of the founder. Was Tony Holman Sr., I guess it was. Is this a long story? No, it's not. Okay. And the, the 33 cars would line up on the grid. 350,000 people would get silent. And Tony would say, gentlemen, start your engines. How would he today, say it? Yeah. Today, he has to say, gentlemen and ladies, oh, start your Of course, engines. yeah. Yeah. In fact, who's that uh, that girl we had dinner with at David Foster's yeah, house? I can't remember her name. She's a champion driver. You got to be Danica strong. Patrick? Yeah, that's Danica her Patrick, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
You yeah. gotta be strong. She's little. Yeah. She's like the, she's like Camellia's size. She's little. And strong. Strong. So strong. I guess, yeah, you gotta control that steering wheel. Boy, could I not could I not do that? I don't like it if we go over forty five. I get nervous. I actually dated a um, indie race car driver for a short time. You did? In my younger years. Yeah, and I, I had no idea how much pressure is on the body. Like, his feet would be bruised really, really badly. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a very physical experience. Wow. I'm sorry, Caroline. What did you say? What part of his body? Feet. His feet would be bruised. How, how, how would you know that? Here goes your... Here, he told me. Here goes your... <laughs> she's too sharp for you, Al. He needs foot restore. He needs foot restore, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, if your free feet sweat or stink, have we got uh, the uh, refreshing foot mist for you? And if your heels are skanky, we've got heel restore. And if you live where there are bugs, put on perfume that bugs hate. And then, um, if you want to be my color today, brush bronzing powder all over. You know what's great? This this color is good for everybody. It just makes you look like you've got this healthy tan. I just I finished putting this on today, and I went, I look better. I look better since I put this on. And that was after the lunch. You know what's nice about that big lunch we had today? What? We're not gonna have dinner. Like, no. like after we have this cocktail, no, that's what it. are we going to do tonight? We're going to go to bed. Oh, we're watching the Ryan Murphy um, series. Have you watched that, Caroline Hollywood? No, I haven't watched it yet. Wow. I have not seen this kind of detail on a series in a long, long time. I've not seen costuming like this in a long, long time. It's oh, fun. It's over the top. Uh, Patty Lapone is amazing. And there's a woman on there who I think was my mother or a, a aunt or a mother-in-law on one of my series. You know, these they hire these people and they come in to do, uh, you know, a couple of guest starring parts and then, and then, you know, years later you go, I think she was my mother. The, the right. funny one to me on Step by Step, I had a, a, a sister and, was it this, uh, the sister? Was a sister and a mother. Sister and a mother. And they both disappeared. And, and a pig. A sister right. and a mother and a pig in and, year and one. And also a hair salon. And, uh, I had the hair salon uh, two years because Bronson um, Pinchot. Pinchot. Pinch. Yeah. He came on and he, he took over the salon. But I love in sitcoms when somebody's not testing well, you just disappear. You're just gone. You just don't come back again. Right. And we don't explain it. And no one, we never ever said, I sure miss the pig. The pig was just right. gone. Pigs, I'll tell you, those of you who've had pigs, they're so, oh, they're so darling. Have you ever held a piglet? It's so cute. It's like the cutest little puppy. They're so cute. And then you come back to work next week, and now it's this big. And I swear to God, within like two to three weeks, you've got a a big mother pig. Because they eat like pigs. They eat like pigs. Yeah. And pretty soon they're too big for the show. They're just like, they're, and they're, they eat and they yell. They yell they all also, day no, long. They also uh, fart. I don't remember them farting. Do they fart? Do you know that? Or are you just no, being I like bad out? Because I was at a pig farm once years ago. You were? Yeah. There was a lot of farting <laughs> going on. By the way, Maybe it was you. Listen to this. Tammy, before you got your gluten situation under control. Tammy Carter. Yeah. My son just bought a McLaren. Now, I have to tell you something. Mm -hmm. Tammy Carter's son must be very well off. Because a McLaren is between two hundred and two hundred and fifty thousand oh. dollars. Oh, okay. oh. So is it a Tammy, Canadian car? So, pardon me. Is it a Canadian car? No. Oh, so, so Tammy, son's a, a doing McLaren, well. A McLaren. So Tammy, between you and your son, you could probably come up with the fifteen million we need to repair. <laughs> right? Yeah, and we'll put on a great show for you. And also, I, I happen to have a Panther. You do. Very low mileage. You could sell that and throw it into the pot. I will. Yeah. Tammy, if you come up with a fifteen million, I yeah. will give you my Panther. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's not like you're asking her to give you fifteen million. You no, just no. want her to invest it. No. And we'll make sure that you get your uh, return on your investment. Hold it. Never that promise. Was never part of the deal. Okay? What? 
when you invest in a theater yeah. that is a foundation, uh -huh. it's a tax-free foundation. Oh. Okay. See, this is stuff you know, and I don't you, know this you stuff. You write it off. Oh. oh. You get a great write -off. Oh. Okay. 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 You don't pay tax on the see, now, see why I need him? I'm the fun out front person. I like to sing and dance, and I will, when th that nice lady who asked me to sing, guess who I saw? I just don't want to screw it up. I'm usually very free with singing, but that song, you gotta be in your head space and in your stuff. And I'm just waiting for a piece of sound equipment to be returned. I talked to um, my sound guy today, Bob Ludwig, who, oh my God, we call him Dr. Bob. Uh, when you're on the road, Two people, well, th no, everybody's important. Three people are really important. Your musical director, your sound guy, and your lighting guy. Because all you need is those three people to put on an amazing show. Well, and then the singer. So I enjoy performing so much. To me, even this is a performance. It's just performing to me. What I learned about performing, it's the art of knowing who you are and being able to convey to the audience who you are without phoning it up. You know, the moment somebody phone, phonies up and tries to pretend there's something other than what they are, we all smell it, right? It stinks. Uh, but when someone's authentic and telling the truth, it's mesmerizing, isn't it? Truth is mesmerizing. Just so thought I'd say Tammy that. Carter's son is, is an attorney. Oh, that's why. So if he has oh. that kind of money, oh, oh, then yeah. he, must be, he must be representing criminals. Well, or not, or maybe he's just like a really successful um, like, yeah. attorney, you yeah. know. In fact, I would think criminals wouldn't have, you know, the bankroll to do it unless they no, were. I'm talking about big time. Oh, big, big time, criminals. time criminals. You mean Al Capone kind of? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Tammy's son is that. I think Tammy's son. Tammy's a good girl and she raised a good boy, right, Tammy? Yeah, right. Tammy. Okay. Right. Right. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Okay. I was quiet for a moment there, wasn't I? Yeah. I'm really quiet. I've never heard you quiet. I know. I feel the in air. Your sleep. What do I do? what you, kind of noise do I make you, in my you, sleep? You actually sometimes you talk in your sleep? I do? Yeah, and I want to record it so I can play it back the next day. Mm -hmm. And by the time I get my iPhone uh -huh. and fire it up. It's too late? It's Do you actually late. go to do that? Yeah, huh. I don't Good do thing I don't have any secrets. I don't do it anymore. Huh. That's why I wrote that hey, book. Hey, Alan. Yeah? It's only, it's only two minutes until six if you want to swing around the other side and say goodbye. Okay. Ah, uh, I hate, is. I honestly hate when the shows are over. It's so fun. Outdoor body spray, heal restore, refreshing foot mist, bronzing powder, Retail value one hundred and twenty-five, sale sixty-nine ninety-nine. That's forty-four percent off at SuzanneSummers.com. What a deal! It is a great deal. I particularly love tonight's show. I this was um, come on over here, Al. Okay. Al Al put on. Uh, I I said I'm wearing. Kiwi green sequins tonight. So think about what you choose to wear. So he came out in a green, a pale green Didn't shirt. Like it. Well, know why? I here's my my theory about color. You can wear any color, with any color, as long as it's the same intensity. So when he came out in a mint green print shirt, I said that's not going to go with this. So then he puts on this pink. Doesn't the pink look good with the intensity of my green? What are you doing? Just looking. Down my shirt. <laughs> I know him. No, I was. 50 years. No, I was going to do. <laughs> I was going to do my uh, Biden impersonation. Oh. Oh, yeah. have we all seen his Biden impersonation? This is. No, we haven't seen it yet. Hair sniffing. Yeah. 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 Your hair smells good. Well, thank you. Did you wash it today? I did with I'm Suzanne, glad. Suzanne yeah. Summers Organics. Did you use the volumizing I, conditioner? I did. Me too. And I used the uh, True Brazilian Activating Serum. I love that. And then I put the um, uh, the styling gel at the roots. And then, because I wore my hair a little different tonight, I put the paste, our styling paste, here to hold this piece over. So I could have that come hither over my eye look. 
You know, uh, I, I didn't use that. I didn't use the, the, that white stuff. Yeah. Your hair is straighter tonight than usual. It is. Yeah. Well, it's because after I came out of the shower, I didn't do anything. Oh. Okay. You look great. I think you're beautiful. I do. I think you're beautiful. I you're love beautiful you all. Wife. I love you all. I love tonight's show. I love you, Caroline. I love you, too. And um, don't have stinky feet. Night, everybody. You know, Bruce used to have stinky feet. He did, but he Remember? doesn't anymore. No. He needed to find a good woman. Right. Okay, you can <laughs> okay. go turn off now. I love you guys. I love you too. Bye bye. Mwah. Bye. We'll see you next Friday, and then there are two more. Two more. There are three shows next week. The cocktail parties on Friday nights, of course, and then Caroline will let us know when what time. Yeah, you're back Monday. Monday. Cocktail party Monday. Oh, so we get two cocktail parties next week. So maybe I'll cook on the Wednesday, and then we'll do bookend Monday and Friday with. Um, I think Wednesday is yoga. Oh, so we'll do yoga. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Bye. Hopefully. Bye, you guys. All right. Love bye, you. bye.